Hello Capricorn and welcome to this timeless love reading. Thank you so much for joining me Capricorn. I just want to start by saying a huge thank you to everyone who sent a comment on your last reading. This was one of my favorite readings I've ever done on the channel. Um, so yeah, today we're looking at the love energy, but we never know what comes out with Capricorns. It's always deeper than just love. So let's start by picking the energy supporting you right now in love capricorn what do we need to know for capricorn in love okay what do we have here seven of cups okay so the seven of cups can of course be about options but to me personally this card is about realizing that the things we thought we wanted are changing you know sometimes sometimes our ego our brain tells us that we want we need this thing so much and then something happens and we realize i want something even bigger than that i want something different um more nourishing and expensive and more special so this is really beautiful and there's of course infinite possibilities with this card so i'm really excited to see but the seven of cups is an invitation Me journal meditate on the things that right now in the present moment you feel like you want the things that you've been seeking the things that you've been manifesting and dreaming of wishing for it's time to check in with yourself about that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What do we need to know for Capricorn in love? What do we need to know for Capricorn in love? The Sun card and the Six of Swords. You're moving towards happiness. There could have been a situation that doesn't fulfill you completely. Uh, there could also be some type of situation where you have given so much of yourself that at one point you felt lost and you're coming back home to yourself. You have a different perspective on what it is to love, what it is to be love, and how you want to move through the world as a person who... Again, loves and receive love. The sun is Leo energy. It's the heart space. There's something that's changing a lot. And you definitely been through a lot with the Six of Swords. You carry with you a lot of lessons, a lot of pain. It's part of you. It's part of your heart. It made you who you are today. But it doesn't define you anymore. You're definitely taking control of your destiny, Capricorn. And I'm not surprised because you guys are, you know, just the official badass of the tarot. And my, this is my personal opinion, but you know how much I love you guys. So really interesting that the sun is coming up. Yeah, and we have the Knight of Wands that flew out of the deck. How you are moving in the world. Moving with more confident confidence sorry showing up with more confidence um it's not always a straight line confidence is not something that is just always here and perfect and always you know a hundred percent it takes time but you're definitely going to have some really good days feeling yourself i don't know if you've been feeling more comfortable in your body in your mind in your soul the nights are a lot about the body so something is changing. I feel like in the last couple readings, there was something changing deeply about your self-love, about how you want to choose what's best for you and not necessarily to please other people, to make other people feel comfortable. You're like, what do I want? Checking in with that. The things that I've been seeking, you know, it might not be that anymore. It's okay to change your opinion. It's okay to change direction. 
And you could have experienced a lot of shame around that with the Six of Swords. There's definitely a lot of feelings coming up about you wanting to change directions. And the feelings, I do personally feel like they're, they come in waves. Some days you're like, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. And I don't want nothing more. I'm going to accept that this is my life. And some days you're like, I want more and I deserve more. How can I get that? So... I feel like you're going through a lot mentally, Capricorn. Yeah, and the Ace of Swords is here. This is the nervous system, your brain, your ego. The swords are what's happening in our mind. There's a lot happening, a new, a new perspective. Again, I feel like you want different things, but you might not right now in the present moment be 100% confident about that. Give yourself time. Give yourself permission to explore and see how you feel each and every day. It's not a straight line again. So with the Ace of Swords, there's a new beginning. You could be communicating online with someone. You could be having the first date, the first conversation, just the first spark. Like, oh, oh, there's something interesting here. Okay, so again, options, opening our mind and our heart to what's out there. Um, and at the end of the day, it's all you choosing happiness, choosing to be free, is what I'm hearing. Capricorn, King of Swords, yeah. So we have the Ace of Swords and we have the King holding the swords. So... If you feel a little bit, you know, shaky, undecisive right now, it's going to change a lot faster than you think. I feel like uh, for the singles out there, you could definitely be meeting someone and having first kind of an online con relationship. I don't know, but there's definitely conversations happening with someone that could be changing everything for you. Um, it feels good. Someone who will see you for who you are. Someone who is confident. They know how to communicate. Um, but for the people who are in a relationship, there could definitely be some type of learning and expanding when it comes to communication. Being able to tell clearly what's happening in your mind, what's on your mind. Not being so secretive about the things you're going through. There's someone who wants to know what's happening in your head, in your mind. Yeah, strength, beautiful. So again, Leo energy, the hard space. Um, the things you're experiencing right now, you know, if you're connecting with what I'm saying, you've been talking to someone new or you've been um changing the way you communicate with your partner there's something about that the little change that you're doing will be impacting your life forever so don't take the little change um for granted celebrate the little accomplishment it's really important right now so i do feel like there could be someone and like not someone but two people falling in love, realizing that they have a lot of love for each other. Um, it feels really special. And I feel like it could be happening so suddenly. So suddenly. We have, uh, yeah, another ace here so see there's definitely something new some type of offer coming your way are you available for that offer that's the thing because the ace is yeah they feel like a gift from the universe but we have to be available and open to receive uh that gift i feel like in the collective there could be a lot of people who are in a relationship right now already and um so of course, you could be closed off to meeting new people, but I feel like you're going to be giving yourself the chance to at least talk and see 
why am I feeling that way? Why am I feeling like something is not good enough anymore? Like I deserve more. Like I want to know what's out there. I feel like the chain that happened within you is so powerful that you might feel like the people close to you are not on your level anymore. But again, it's it's it could be so many things. And I'm not here to give my opinion. I'm just saying that, yeah, there's a lot of new things coming into your life. And it could be changing your perspective. And it could definitely be, again, changing uh, what you want. Having new goals, having new desires, having new fantasies, and wanting to explore what's out there. We have the Knight of Cups in the Hierophant. So, yeah, there could definitely be someone um, making you an offer, asking you on a date. And it could start with a friendship. It could start just by someone being like, you want to go for coffee? Do you want to talk? You could be working with that person. I don't know exactly. But there is something here. Um, I feel like there could be some type of love at first sight energy. Knowing like there's something here. I could see myself long term with that person. And you will know. It's them because of the communication. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. It's the throat chakra. The way you communicate with that person and how transparent, real, honest you are with them. It's going to be different from anything you've ever had before. It's like a new, different energy. Um, someone who sees you for who you are. Someone that wants to give you the space to... Be yourself, express yourself, someone who makes you, you know, feel seen and heard. And it's different. Again, I feel like, I don't know, it doesn't have to be romantic for everyone. Of course, it's not everybody who's looking for new romantic love. But there is a new relationship, an impactful one that's coming in. And it's one that will be staying in your life forever. Eight of Wands, the Fool. Communication, love at first sight, giving yourself the chance to explore something new and not coming in with a preconceived idea of what this person wants or is. You're giving yourself the chance to explore. You're giving yourself the chance to see what's out there. And it feels like it's happening in a really respectful way. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Moving slow and getting to know someone. But again, there's no preconceived idea. You're so open to new things, new emotions, new energy. You want to be excited and you want to have fun and you want to live a life that, you know, is worth living. There's something new here about you. It feels like you are a more confident version of yourself. Um, and that's really inspiring. It's really inspiring. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, maybe your family, your chosen family, the people around you, they all want that for you. They want you to be happy. And you could have been settling for less in the past. Again, I feel like you've given so much of yourself that at one point you were like, I don't have anything else to give. I don't even know like how to take my power back. I feel like you've, you've given too much at one point. Now it's time for you to receive with the Queen of Pentacles. The person that will offer this either date or, you know, offer you this cup of love, quote unquote. Um, this is someone who wants to treat you. They love to take care of other people. They are a giver just like you. And I think that it could feel a little bit uncomfortable and scary at first because I don't think you're used to that. I don't think you're used to that. We have the Emperor, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Listen, 
first of all, how beautiful is that Ace of Cups card? I'm obsessed with it. So we have Emperor Energy. Emperor is a new beginning. It's Aries Energy, the first sign of the Zodiac. There's also a lot of sexual energy that comes in with that card. Someone who sees you for who you are, they think that you are perfect. You don't need to change anything about yourself to impress this person. You can just be your true authentic self and it feels really good. They will offer you something. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic love for everyone. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that because tarot is for everyone. Um, but there's a new opportunity here. And with the Three of Cups, this is my confirmation that you were guided towards this person. Three of Cups to me is the family of protection that isn't on this earth. Like your angels, your ancestors, the people who passed away that are protecting you. You will be noticing signs. And you're going to know intuitively your soul is going to know that this person might be the one for you, the one that you've been looking for. And again, I don't know if you're necessarily looking for someone new, but we have three aces here. Three aces, Capricorn. So it's not only new love, new energy, it's new everything. You could be moving in with that person in the future. You could be experiencing new things and feeling like, again, everything in your life guided you towards this new energy. And it might be overwhelming at first. Definitely, there's going to be a feeling of being a little overwhelmed, like, oh, okay, I wasn't looking for that necessarily, and now it's happening. I have to acknowledge it. I have to check in with myself and see where am I at right now in the present moment. Oof, okay, let's, let's see what the Oracle cards want to say. Okay, two cards fell out of the deck. You are good enough and adjustments are required in the reverse you have everything you need you already know you have so much to offer that you have so much love to give but it's definitely your time to receive you've been really patient You've been working on yourself, working on your confidence, and I feel like you adjust yourself. You've been learning, and it's been a roller coaster, definitely. But I'm going to be honest, I definitely feel like you've been settling for less most of the time. In your mind, it was like, this is what I deserve, this is what I'm getting, and I'm going to accept it. But something's changing giving yourself the permission to see what's out there and see how you feel about new people and new things. Um, it feels healthy also. It feels balanced. It doesn't feel reckless. It doesn't feel like immature or just foolish. This is you listening to what your soul wants for once. Trust the universe has a plan for you. And the butterfly is a really some a really powerful symbol, of course, of transformation. But it's also something that you could be seeing in your life, like little butterflies, little signs from the universe. Trust, trust that what you seek is seeking you, and that there is definitely something really special waiting for you out there, no matter what situation you are in right now, Capricorn. I feel like you're slowly starting to really see that you deserve something amazing. It's time for you to be loved the way that you've been loving so much. It's your time to get that. It's your time to receive. The universe has a plan for you. Repeat that to yourself. Trust that something great is coming because this is really powerful. Um... And I feel like you could definitely be in the summer, May, June, July, August, changing completely your direction when it comes to your life, your personal life, uh, what you want as, you know, a stable, committed person. There's something changing here. And I feel like you're finally giving yourself the chance 
for exploration. Get clear on what you want. Vision. I always suggest you journal and meditate, Capricorn. You are an earth sign. It's really important for earth signs in general to sit down every day and just, even if it's two minutes, check in with yourself. If you have tarot cards, pick a card, reflect on it, ground yourself, wake up in the morning, journal on what do I want today, right now in the present moment? What feels good for me and what doesn't? Uh, again, with the Seven of Cups, which is your anchor right now for for love, um, how does it feel when you open up to new options? Do you feel bad? Do you feel shame? Do you feel excitement? You are allowed to open up to more. You deserve more. You are enough. You don't need to change anything about yourself to be worthy of happiness and pleasure and um, new things, no matter how old you are, you know, wherever you are in the world, it feels like there's definitely something new coming for you. Again, three aces. This is no, um, this is no coincidence. And the emperor to me is connected a lot with the ace of wands so there's a powerful message here um the universe is going to send gifts your way are you ready to make the best out of them is it something that you want is it something that you're open to think about that thank you so much for being here capricorn this was just a little love check-in and the May general readings will be out next week. And I'm really excited for that. So take exquisite care of yourself, of course. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to speak with you again. Bye, Cap.